does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. Ollie Oxen. I just told you. That's who I think I am. In the last video, we went over the parts of what is supposed to be my water cooling loop. We went over the fittings, the tubing, a lot of the tools that we're using, but now I'm gonna show you why I bought those parts. So in making the water cooling loop, there are a lot of different things that go into it, but the biggest thing is knowing, having an idea of where your parts are gonna go, especially if this is your first time, because you don't really have a lot of these parts to spare. You need to have an idea of where you're going, what you're gonna be doing, and how you're gonna get there. In this case, we're going to be water cooling using the Fantex P500A and we're going to be using two 360 mil radiators. I've done a lot of research on water cooling and between BitTech and Jace Two Cents and Optimum Tech, I pretty much got an idea of the parts that I need. However, I don't know how they fit in my particular case. I wanted to find a 3D model online because I use SketchUp, but unfortunately that 3D model for this case in particular does not exist as far as I could find it. So I went the quick and dirty method. Well, it's not really quick because it took a couple hours but it is dirty but it's effective i took one of the stock images of the side profile of the p500 case put it in photoshop and i took other pictures of the other components that i'll be using and did my best to render what it would look like and i also took that information took a picture of what the machine actually looks like with my radiators and one of my distro plates installed and i used that to make a more accurate 3d model and we're going to go over all of that and show you how i may not have all the fittings that i need so let's get into it so you can see here uh, I have my case and I have all of the parts that I believe I'll be using. So this is the CPU water block, the GPU water block, my pump res combo, my two radiators, and my distro plate. And I've roughed out where the tubings will go in addition to my drain port. Now, I did find out that the P500A has a drain port at the bottom. So this innocuous kind of, what does innocuous mean? Yeah. So this innocuous drain tube at the end seemingly goes into nowhere, actually will go into somewhere. And I definitely am going to need a pass through fitting now. More on that later uh yeah so what i did was i sat down and i planned out every route that i think that the system is going to need so to keep it simple i have the liquid exiting the pump res combo entering the gpu it's leaving the gpu into the distro plate it's going to leave the distro plate go into the cpu block out of the cpu block back into the distro plate back out of the distro plate into the top 360 rad out of that rad into the front 360 rad and then out of that rad back into to the pump rest combo completing the loop only problem with this method is this is only one plane of viewing the tubes work on this side but as we know there's depth to three-dimensional objects and this is what is this is this two dimensions no i think it's only one dimension however many dimensions it is it's not enough so what we did was we took all of this information and we went into sketchup to make a more outline version of what the loop is going to look like what we found out was one these bends are going to be super complicated and i'm going to need what they call offset fittings now offset fittings are unique pieces that allow you to make micro adjustments in your loops if you're off by a certain you know amount of space in this case it'll let you adjust up to about six millimeters off and let me see if i can find an example prime example so what an offset fitting will allow you to do is how this tube route doesn't run exactly into the inlet on this distro block the offset fitting will allow you to offset your fitting to give it parallel looks while still fitting into a inlet that it doesn't necessarily fit into so i found during the sketchup modeling process that here when i leave the gpu into the distro block this tube run is going to be possibly 10 mils off so i don't know if i'm gonna need two offset fittings here or not but i'm definitely gonna need at least one because the idea 
if you look straight on, it's a pretty simple run, just like how I had in the rendering, up and out. But in reality, well not in reality, in three dimensions, there's an alignment issue. So that's gonna be my first real roadblock. The second roadblock or challenge is gonna be leaving the distro plate and going into the CPU. Again, this is probably more easily solved by the offset fitting, just because the distance, I believe this distance is less than 10 millimeters. Let's hide it, okay. So in this, three millimeters. So yeah, this distance between this fitting and that fitting being on the same plane is three millimeters. So with the offset, I'll be able to adjust it so that the tube run is parallel with the fitting as much as possible. Because remember, we're looking for straight runs and easy bends. The third, well not really third, just the next challenge is going to be out of the distro plate and going into our top radiator. I didn't really consider this because as you can see here, there was a miscommunication about the length of the reservoir or the radiators and they actually ended up being a bit longer in reality than what they look like on the computer. So this is this is a route that I still have to figure out and I don't, I don't really know exactly what I could do. I might be able to extend this out and then go down and back. I don't know, but that's going to be the third challenge. Final challenge is going to be leaving this radiator and going back into the pump rest combo. I think this is a lot easier than it looks. This is probably a 180 degree bend going backwards, going back up. That way I can line up as perfectly with this fitting as possible without needing needing another offset fitting. But again, that's a pretty challenging bend for my first time on bending acrylic tubing, period. Although I'm up for the challenge. So we we will get it cracking or crack a tube. Either way, something's gonna get done. And then of course, the drain port, like we said earlier, going into the bottom, which is gonna exit through this drain port hole that exists on the case that I did not find out about until this weekend. So yeah, that is, that's a rough look at the cooling, the, the loop. Uh, a couple things, this motherboard, these radiators and the fittings, they were, and the reservoir, these were made by members of the SketchUp community. However, the GPU, the CPU, and the distro plate, all my designs, they're rough, but I want to try and give credit where credit is due. And I also use Photoshop to figure out how many fittings I'm going to use. This is my diagram. Uh, it's all over the place, but it works for me. It basically indicates where each fitting is supposed to go and what I need. So it narrows down figuring out how many fittings I need when I go to shop for them because it's super difficult to try to figure it out without having it written down somewhere. This is subject to change because again, I didn't figure out that some of these paths and loops weren't as easy as they looked until I went and did a practical test run and then put those three dimensions into a program where I could figure out exactly what those routes do versus what they do in two dimensions. So yeah, I again, this process is not as easy as I thought it was going to be, but it's still still exciting, man. Like this, this shit is crazy and I, I can't wait to get into it and get the bend in and really testing the limits of what I can make. So again, if you want any more information about this process and all of that, drop a comment, just hit me up and we'll go through it, see if we can come up with something. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed what you saw and if you did, leave a like, let me know you were here. And if you made it this far in the video, make sure you drop a hashtag AO so I know you were here. And don't forget to subscribe. Again, we're moving along, we're making progress. And these videos are gonna keep coming until we get to the end of wherever this road leads us. Appreciate you stopping by and I will see you in the next one. Peace.